Honey is far more than just a sweet treat. It is an extraordinary and invaluable gift from nature, full of a wide range of beneficial properties and essential nutrients. Since ancient civilizations, honey has been highly valued not only for its delightful sweetness, but for its medicinal and nutritional qualities. People have used it to heal wounds, soothe sore throats, and as a natural remedy for various ailments. Even in the modern world, honey remains an essential food product, prized for its unique flavor, health benefits, and versatility in numerous folk remedies and cosmetic treatments. Honey production plays a critical role in the global agricultural landscape, particularly in the United States, which produces around 250 million pounds of honey each year. This industry is a crucial part of American agriculture, with major honey-producing regions located in California, Florida, and North Dakota, where the climate and environment create optimal conditions for successful beekeeping. However, the significance of honey production extends beyond its culinary and medicinal uses. Bees, as the primary producers of honey, are vital to the environment and agriculture, playing a central role in pollinating plants and boosting crop yields across the world. Beekeeping or apiculture is much more than the practice of maintaining bee colonies for honey production. It is a delicate and important ecological activity that ensures the health and balance of both bee populations and the environment. Beekeepers not only focus on producing honey, but also strive to create a stable environment for their bee colonies, ensuring that the bees can thrive and continue their vital work in pollination. Bees are incredibly efficient pollinators and a single colony can produce between 30 to 60 pounds of honey per year, depending on various factors such as climate, season, and plant availability. However, the role of bees in the ecosystem goes far beyond just honey production. These tiny insects are responsible for pollinating a large variety of crops and plants, including many that are vital to human nutrition, such as fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. By facilitating the reproduction of plants, bees help maintain ecological balance, biodiversity, and food security worldwide. Bees are often referred to as nature's farmers because of their indispensable role in agriculture. Their pollination activities support the growth and development of many of the world's food crops, contributing to higher yields and better quality produce. In fact, the economic value of bees' pollination services in the U.S. agricultural sector is estimated at around $15 billion each year. This underscores how crucial bees are for the stability and productivity of agriculture. Without bees, many of the crops we rely on for food, such as apples, almonds, and berries, would see reduced yields, significantly affecting both farmers and consumers. Commercial beekeepers often work in rural areas or suburban regions, where there are abundant wildflowers and crops, providing bees with the rich nectar and pollen needed to produce high-quality honey. These regions also offer clean air and minimal pollution, which ensures that the honey produced is free from contaminants. One of the most critical aspects of successful beekeeping is selecting the right location for the hives. Beekeepers need to carefully choose areas where bees can access a diverse range of flowering plants that provide nectar throughout the growing season. Ideal locations for beekeeping feature a variety of nectar-rich plants, such as clover, alfalfa, acacia, lavender, and other flowering crops. 
The availability of these plants ensures that bees have a constant food supply and can produce honey with unique flavors and aromas. In addition, well-maintained areas with low pollution levels contribute to the health of the bees and reduce the risk of contamination in the honey. As beekeepers work to support bee populations, they also have to ensure that the environment remains sustainable and conducive to the well-being of the bees. The design of beehives plays a significant role in beekeeping, as it directly affects the efficiency and productivity of bee colonies. One of the most widely used hive designs in commercial beekeeping is the Langstroth hive. This type of hive is known for its innovative structure, which includes a series of removable frames that allow bees to build their honeycombs. These frames make it easier for beekeepers to check the health and condition of the colony and to collect honey when the time is right, the Langstroth Hive also features a multi-level design, which allows beekeepers to add more space as the colony grows. This flexibility is important for managing larger colonies, as bees tend to expand their hives as the population increases. When it comes to selecting the right bee breeds for commercial beekeeping in the U.S., several options are commonly used, including the Italian, Carniolan, and Caucasian bee. These breeds are highly regarded for their productivity, docility, and ability to adapt to various environmental conditions. The Italian bee, for example, is known for its excellent nectar-gathering ability and high resistance to diseases, making it a popular choice among beekeepers. Carniolan bees are also prized for their productivity and calm temperament, while Caucasian bees are particularly well suited for colder climates. Beekeepers often select these breeds or even create hybrid bees by crossbreeding the best strains to improve the characteristics of their colonies. An essential part of beekeeping is choosing a healthy queen bee as she determines the success of the colony. A strong, disease-resistant queen can produce offspring that are more resilient and capable of thriving in diverse conditions. The life cycle of a bee is a fascinating and intricate process. A queen bee can lay up to 2,000 eggs per day during the warmer months, which allows the colony's population to grow rapidly. These eggs hatch into larvae, which develop into pupae before emerging as adult bees. Worker bees are the first to emerge and quickly begin their roles within the hive. They collect nectar, clean the hive, and care for the larvae and queen. As the colony matures, the roles of the bees evolve and drones, male bees, are produced to mate with new queens. The queen bee, in turn, continues to lay eggs, ensuring the survival and growth of the colony. The colony functions as a highly organized and cooperative unit, with each bee playing a crucial role in its success. During the winter months, bees enter a period of dormancy as they become less active. The colder weather and the lack of flowering plants make it difficult for them to gather nectar. To help the bees survive this challenging time, beekeepers often provide supplemental food, 
such as sugar syrup or stored honey, to sustain the bees and ensure they remain healthy. Feeding the bees during the winter helps support the development of new bees, ensuring that the colony can thrive again in the spring. Beekeepers also ensure that their hives are insulated and secure to protect the bees from extreme cold. Winter care is essential for maintaining a strong and productive colony, as bees rely on their stored food to get them through the long, cold months. Frequent hive inspections are a vital part of beekeeping. Beekeepers monitor the health of their colonies to detect any signs of diseases or parasites that could threaten the bees. One of the most common threats to bee populations is varroatosis, a parasitic infestation caused by the varroa mite, which can devastate colonies if not managed properly. Regular checks help beekeepers identify potential problems early, allowing them to take action to prevent damage. Beekeepers may treat the hives with medications or use organic methods to eliminate pests. In some cases, beekeepers may need to replace the queen or relocate the colony to a healthier environment. These regular inspections are essential for maintaining a productive and disease-free hive. Harvesting honey is the ultimate goal of beekeeping, and it is a delicate process that requires careful timing and attention to detail. Honey is ready for harvesting when the bees have sealed the honeycombs with a wax cap, indicating that the honey is fully ripened. Typically, honey is harvested in late summer or early autumn when the bees are preparing for winter, but still have enough honey stored to get through the cold months. The harvesting process involves carefully removing the honeycombs from the hive and using specialized equipment, such as honey extractors, to separate the honey from the combs. Beekeepers wear protective clothing to avoid being stung during this process, as it can be a busy and sometimes chaotic time in the hive. After honey is harvested, it is transported to processing facilities where it undergoes several stages of filtration to remove any impurities, wax, or debris. This process ensures that the honey is pure and high quality. The honey is then heated gently, but not beyond 40 degrees Celsius, 104 degrees Fahrenheit, to preserve its natural enzymes, nutrients, and flavors. Once the honey has been filtered and processed, it is poured into jars or containers for sale or for further use in various products. The careful processing of honey ensures that it retains all of its beneficial properties and remains safe for consumption. In conclusion, beekeeping is far more than just the production of honey. It is an essential part of maintaining ecological health and supporting agricultural practices. Bees are critical to the pollination of crops, ensuring the survival of many plant species and the stability of food production systems. Beekeepers play an integral role in preserving the health of bee populations and ensuring that these pollinators can continue to do their work. As the world faces environmental challenges, beekeeping will continue to be an essential practice for both food security and ecosystem preservation, providing vital support for biodiversity and sustainable agriculture.